Hello, dear viewers. You're on the Savalmas channel. As always, I'm Alexander Sudriv. Today in the studio we have Dmitry Alexandrovich Duinov, and we continue with the section answers to your questions. Hello, Dmitry Alexandrovich. Good afternoon, Alexander. Good afternoon, dear viewers. Today we have been asked a very interesting question. It sounds approximately as follows. In some of our videos and in the program Expert Time, we touched on the topic of creating an incremental encoder developed by Savalmos. So, the audience is interested in how large-scale this invention is, whether there are any potential consumers now, and in general today, why Savalmash is engaged in this, since the main task is developing electric motors. This is not an invention, this is an engineering solution, this is an engineering design. But it is necessary for securing the business of producing traction motors for electric vehicles. Because, look, if we, for example, want to make motor bodies, well, let's say aluminum ones, we have a wide choice of suppliers casting in any quantity in different countries, in Russia, abroad. If we want electrical steel, there is also a choice. Copper wires, there is a choice. But as for encoder sensors, it's only China. And just imagine, if we rely on Chinese incremental encoders, they will ride us anytime. Ride us well. Here, look, now in Russia, we have a lever that impacts the entire automotive industry of the world. There are catalysts there, they are premised on rare earth elements. If Russia stops the supplies, everyone will be having a hard time. But Russia doesn't do such things, which cannot be said about Europe and other states that practice such things and in relation to Russia just as well. Therefore, if we want to make production stable, and so that we are not ridden and controlled, we need an in-house produced incremental encoder. And it's not necessary to spread them around the whole world. It is like nuclear weapons. It is not necessary to use them, knowing that they exist is enough. The desire to mess with you disappears. The in-house produced incremental encoders are these very protection devices for our business that we are building. So, in fact, this product is strategically important. Yes, it's an essential part. Because we discussed it with you, the price of the incremental encoder from China is the same as the price of a motor. Let's say the motor costs 3.5 thousand and the encoder costs 3.5 thousand. And we will make it for 100 or 500. That's it. Then we can bargain with them. Certainly they supply, and we have our own encoders. At this point all the debates end immediately. And the bargaining ends immediately too. Therefore it's a deterrent. That's first and foremost. Second, it enables implementing different modern models and developing motors without going public about it. Because if we purchase certain components, it immediately raises the question, why? For instance, if we order an encoder of a special design, not the one that they use, there is again the question, what for? And so on. And why would we attract attention ahead of time? We need a specific incremental encoder for the hub motors, because the optical one we used to put on the prototypes is not very reliable. Dirt, moisture, and so on. The resource needs to be serviced. The maintenance interval is very short. If we do it according to our design, then it is not necessary to maintain it. It doesn't require maintenance. And consequently, there is an opportunity to sell this product. That's the answer to the question. That is, in fact, the product can be of interest not only for Savalmas, but for other manufacturers of motors too. Right. Including in Russia. Why not? Establishing the production of such a product 
expands the opportunities for other developers on the territory outside the Russian Federation just as well. Well, I can't help but ask a question. Every time we touch on the issue of motor production and technology, we always mention the fact that the motor technology alone is not enough. We need to provide all the conditions for its production and application. Implementation, yes. And are there such conditions already provided or prepared for production of the encoders? To date, a plan for production of the main encoder components has been created. We can already mass produce them. I mean continuous production. Well, anyway, 30,000-40,000 units per month is feasible now. With the equipment that our engineers have created. And this is a very serious figure. I think the answer has been as comprehensive as possible. Thank you. Until we meet again. Until we get more questions. Thank you, dear viewers. Make sure you follow the news, subscribe to our resources. It contributes significantly to promoting the project. See you again.